What's up, our maiden? I am your friendly DIY self builder. I am tanking my shower. I'm going to quickly show you how I'm doing it. I'm using the Everbuild Aquasil tanking kit. This is a waterproof wet room system. Uh, so it's for wet rooms and showers. I've done a video about tape and joining this or scrim if you like an adhesive. So that video is here. My plaster work's been done. As per the instructions, I've really primed the whole area and I've even done a little bit of the floor as well. This kit's about 50 quid. There's a link in the description if you want one. You get the primer, you get the tape to do the joints and the corners. There's even a paintbrush. This is like the rubber membrane. Roller for the tape. And then there's a, a shower part as well for where your waste goes in the floor, but we won't be using this because we're not doing the wet room. And then uh, we got instructions. The tape's almost like cloth fabric and it's self-adhesive. It's got two separate sticky strips that you tear off. You're supposed to put it in the corners, around the perimeter at the bottom. And it says to do your ball joints as well. I'm not, I don't very much doubt that this is gonna crack at all, but I suppose I'll put one there, there, and there, but I'll probably leave this side. We are gonna start at the bottom. And now the corners. Little bit of an afterthought, you might get a little gap down there, so it's probably a good idea to fill that bit in first. Cut yourself a square like this, and then you're gonna go from the middle here, just halfway up, and cut that so that's just like that. Okay, and what we are gonna do, turn that side. See that is better than that, isn't it? This is my fourth time using this and I'm sure, I'm sure before they used to give you corner bits. But yeah, I've done that and I forgot about it, so. Mm. Just because I've got some tape left over, we're just gonna tape this joint in the floor. This is P5 board. Normally you'd cut it out and put a complete bit of ply in, but. So I We don't need to worry about that, do we? So this is the part that you put around your waist. But I'm not having a riser kit. I'm going shower tray straight on the floor. So I'll have a big hole here. And I'd rather just it leak in there rather than through the walls or anything like that. So I'm not going to use this. They used to have um, a massive one as well of this. But I might as well just use a little bit and put it round the pipe that comes out of the wall. Okay, now we're gonna whack on the actual tanking membrane with their nice supplied brush. Um, it says to put it up to 1.8 meters higher, which is about here. Uh, I might go all the way to the top, we'll see. Um, first coat, you do either vertical or horizontal and then the second one you do alternating. So I'm gonna whack this on now. I'll show you what it looks like. There you go. Proper gloopy. It's quite thick. First coat down. Do you know what? It's six years ago to this month that I actually done a first shower like this, actually. I'll show you a quick picture of how it was looking. And then a quick picture of the bathroom completely done. Looks all right, doesn't it? Now, I always do the floor just in case if the water gets behind there, it's gonna make its way to the where your waste is. You can get that rubber seal that goes all the way around the perimeter of your shower tray or even on your baths. I hate that. I think it's more trouble than it's worth. It always seems to kick out the bottom tiles and then when you come to fit your screen, shower screen, it, it just messes up the track on the side. 
so I reckon I'm never going to put one of them in ever again. I'll just put a load of mastic around the perimeter. And then I'm sure it's not going to leak anyway. A couple of tips for you. Obviously, you're supposed to be getting this on quite thick. And then because you load up your brush, just make sure I have a quick look about to see if there's any lumps that you've basically dropped somewhere because otherwise that will be a nightmare when you come to tile because it all sticks. And then make sure you keep about 10 to 20 mil back off of where your tiles are gonna finish because otherwise if you go further out than where your tiles are gonna finish, this blue stuff obviously is horrible to paint. So that's, that's me today. I'll see you tomorrow for the next coat. I'm just gonna leave the brush in there. It's been about 10 days since I put this coat on. I've been up to the Lake District, had a few days off, been faffing about, tidying the site. It's about time I finished this, So eh? I've left the paintbrush in there. Let's take a look, see if it's still all right. Yeah. It's fine, it's fine. So that coat was vertical. Now the final coat is gonna be horizontal in three, two, one, done. It's all gone. None left. No. So that tanking is done. I've got the shower tray downstairs. I need to bed that on some mortar. I've got my tiles coming in a couple of days, but this is kind of going on the back burner now because I need to tank. That, f that thing out there, down at the bottom. I need to dig out all around the foundations and do that and put all the drainage in, which is going to be a bit of a nightmare. I might do that during the day and this in the evening, maybe. Uh, it depends how tired I am. But if you're interested in watching any of that or finishing the shower, then make sure you subscribe. Push the bell notification. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.